Previously on OMG, we bought a house. Basically, when you're building a home gym, it's all about space saving, right? It depends on what types of workouts you do. Whoa. Oh. And now that we can come outside instead of having to get up even earlier to drive to the gym, it's really cool. Getting big. Beep, beep, beep. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How, How will it, it turn out? OMG, we, we bought a house. Kate, door. Coming! Welcome, it's such a big day. Big day, we got garage today. To finish. We got garage to finish today. <laughs> like our gym slash our spa slash our our spa? Outdoor TV area, TV yeah. area. Love, 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 love. Great, we're off to a great be, start. It's gonna be a long day. <laughs> so give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Be part of our Creative Weirdo family and let's uh, let's go outside. I don't even know what I just said. I don't either. Okay. You guys saw those beautiful floors we put in, the white walls, the white painted raw ceiling, those old shingles. Our gym is like tricked out now. We got our PRX performance system. And we have the treadmill. We built an amazing hotel gym in our garage. But we still want it to be multifunctional. We want to be able to go out there and sit out there because it's just a really beautiful spot in our backyard. Be like an indoor outdoor area to, to hang out in when we have people over. Countertop, seating area, AC, shelf. Hybrid workout slash chill area. Definitely want to have a conversation area in there. And we've been loving working out here. So yeah, now we need a place to like sit and enjoy. But also like if I want to just come out and put my feet up and watch a game. Never happens, but yeah, if you want to come out and put your feet up and watch some reality TV. All right, we have a lot to do. Countertop? No, let's put the crystals on before we bring the furniture in because we're going to be up on the ladder. Oh, okay, good idea. All right, so from the glorious vintage whitewashed ceilings that are going on in here, we're going to hang our chandelier. It's actually the chandelier that we used to have in our dining room. For in here, we just had to have it rewired and rechained so that it can hang lower. There's so many little doodads on the chandelier. Wipe these off, because look how dusty that is. Ew, ew, ew. No, oh, real life fast motion, go. Joey's putting on the cups to the chandelier. I think my job's too hard. That's not a good look for you if you think your job is too hard. Why are you singing now? Wait, Joey, we need our finger condom. You guys remember we put up in our dining room like what, three years ago? These finger condoms are killing my circulation. Can you just please appreciate how beautiful this is? Can you please appreciate how purple my thumbs are? I tease those little finger condoms to put on the crystals, make sure they didn't get any fingerprints. Well, I don't know where the finger condoms are. We're practicing unsafe crystals. I, you know. This chandelier is gonna get pregnant. Here, here, bulbs, bulbs, bulbs. Bulbs. Can you do two at a time? Some of them work, some of them don't. I don't know, we're just testing. Some of them match, you know, because like some bulbs go out at different times and you try to get the matching ones. Joey, these were the bulbs that were in there. This bulb is too big. This bulb is too small. This bulb, this bulb is, is just big, right. I mean, you guys know how it is. It's, it's difficult to always be matching. My eyebrows don't match. Why do my chandelier bulbs have to match? We have so many crystals to do. You're good, because I have plenty of stuff to do while you're hanging crystals. Don't worry. Go, go, trade good. positions. Yes, trading, go. Trade. Gladly. Joey can go do the sign. I have no idea where the instructions are for this chandelier, so I have no idea where exactly the crystals are supposed to go. It's a haphazard crystal <laughs> extravaganza. This is a really fun job though, guys, dealing with these crystals because they're faceted and so beautiful and they create those prism rainbows on the wall. Like, I'm, I'm very okay with this job. It's a pretty chic setup for a gym. I think it's such a beautiful contrast to the raw ceiling. And then we have this like blingy chandelier. It is quintessential juxtaposition. 
You walk into a gym and you see a chandelier and you know those people mean business. So the one thing you guys aren't seeing today, which is something I think we're gonna do, is install a whole wall of mirrors. We're gonna have a custom mirror company come in and install it so that it's all fitting perfectly around the already installed weight machine. It'll eventually have like one of those full walls of mirrors so you can see yourself pumping iron and Kate can see herself dancing. So while Kate finishes putting on the crystals, I'm gonna get the little countertop kitchenette area thingy. We don't really need anything like a sink or stove top or anything like that back here. It's more so just to have the surface to style and use and the storage inside the drawers and the cabinets and then of course, the fridge. That is basically gonna be where Kate's drink fridge is gonna go because it's too far for her to go inside to get a cold beverage. She has to have a drink fridge in the back. Also eucalyptus towels because I just really want that. It's cool, I'll enjoy it. She's gonna put eucalyptus towels in it. She better be the one restocking those. The cabinet! The cabinet. So excited. Oh, I love that medium gray tone. We don't really need like a big normal size countertop. So I got some shallow depth cabinets. That come with legs you can adjust and level. Thank God because guys, this garage is totally unlevel. I mean, it was built almost 100 years ago and things settle, especially with earthquakes and stuff like that. There's about a million problems that have to be solved with this whole situation. One million? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was your reaction. Like if I would have said a thousand, it would have been okay. I don't really want to be putting anything on a sloped countertop, so thankfully Joey will be able to level it out. You wanted the big, the big, the big mammer jammer, which throws everything off. You mean the big fridge? Yeah. This is hardly a big fridge. But there was a smaller one that would have fit. Why are you telling me this? Like I didn't plan this entire thing with you. <laughs> well, I planned this, but sure. I just want to show you what I'm doing. Yeah, please show me what you're doing. I built a really cute little stand for the fridge so that it all evens out. All right, I'm going to lift the fridge. You slide in the cute stand. <laughs> Maybe pick it up a little bit more. Oh, those are wobbly. I'm gonna kind of have to Tetris this fridge situation because it's a different size in the cabinets. You know, go back to your thing. I'm gonna make a custom toe kick that's gonna go under the cabinets and then kind of duck down under the fridge. Because that way the top of everything is pretty level. And I got some solid wood for a countertop that I'm just gonna cut down to size. Joey. Yeah. You asked me to help you and now you're still measuring. I got stuff to do. I got work to do. I need a countertop that's 69 inches wide by 16 inches deep, so I'm just gonna measure that up, clamp down some straight edges so that I can get a straight cut on them. For this countertop, I wanna make sure there's no nicks or gouges in it because you want it to be a really clean edge, so I actually got a finished blade. It makes a finer cut so you have less imperfections in the cut, and I'm also gonna use some painter's tape to just tape down on where I'm cutting just in case because it'll keep everything flat while the saw is going over it and will minimize any extra splinters that might happen. Yeah, you saw it. You saw it here first. Are you anchoring this to the wall? Yes. I'm just Dear. asking. The countertop is done. Yay! My drink fridge. Our little kitchenette. This is perfect. We've got one bank of cabinet doors that have drawers inside and then another bank of shelves and they've got the cabinet doors on them and they're a beautiful kind of medium gray tone which is playing off the grays that are in the bamboo floors that we have the eco-friendly sustainable bamboo floors and the floating shelf too would be great if you could do that too sir thank you yeah so i got work to do ac shelf i'm gonna decorate do you think we should do a conversation area like you know where you could get cozy yeah this is the perfect area to do a little seating setup. Yeah! Of course, area rugs are perfect to designate space. So this really soft shag rug with some splashes of color in it is the perfect thing to center a seating area around. What the? You oh my God, it's the smallest little rug in the world. Oh. This is like a U rug. Joey sees a rug and it's time, I guess, for a rug cuddle. Kate thought she could get away with rolling out a rug without me. I mean, and especially a small, cute rug like that. Like, come on, you're my schmall. That's a small rug. I'm coming in. Okay, but he's so sweaty. I mean, it, it, we haven't installed the air conditioning out here yet. How about we do- Oh, blow me, blow rug. me. <laughs> blow my face. 
and he wants me to blow on, on him. He wants me to blow on him. Oh, that's right. Thank you. So this wasn't really a rug cuddle. This was more just like a rug pass out with Joey just squawking at me. It's beautiful. It feels good too. We could stretch on this rug. This could be our stretch rug. The only thing to make this rug better is if this room wasn't 90 degrees. So I gotta finish putting that AC in. Yeah. Get on up, Joey. You got an AC to install. It's California. It can get toasty. We're gonna go ahead and bring in some temperature control. When you don't have central AC, you have a couple options. One of them is a window unit. Kind of an eyesore, they take up a window. But what you can also do is you can do these wall mounted units that are also gonna be a lot stronger than those window units. And they're just a little bit chicer. They kind of are more up out of the way. So I found this cool brand online called Mr. Cool. So I emailed, I was like, yeah, Mr. Cool, Mr. Kate. They sent me one. I'm gonna try putting it up. It's supposed to be pretty easy to just mount on the wall. So the AC unit comes with a very long amount of um, refrigerant, coolant, cable, and electrical wire. All the stuff that's in the little thing. Clearly, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, don't let it bend. Just feed it through. You gotta uh, okay, well it's looped. You have to feed it through though. I have to feed it through? Well, as I'm pulling, push it. Like, let that side that your hand's holding fall onto the bike. I mean, it's it's not gonna unfurl. Like, you're gonna have to unfurl it on the other side. Kate, just put it through the hole. Kate, what? push it through. Push, push. Well, now it's bending on the other side. Joey, it's bending. Okay, well, do, so go fix it, go. Is it unbent? Oh, it's there, oh, it's there. It's just gonna mount onto the wall, onto the mounting bracket that we've screwed into the studs. Now we will be able to have climate controlled workouts. So under the AC unit, I'm gonna mount a really simple floating shelf so that way we can put some plants and stuff by the window. Bada bang, bada boom, bada shelf. So this shelf is perfect, a little low profile moment so I can style it and have some design elements over there. All right, so around the rug we're doing some really cool furniture. We got our blue, I think they're like velvety. Kate probably knows. It's like a micro suede fabric, kind of velvety. They have a nice high back, so they're really like comfy to sit in. You can place them wherever you want. No conversation area is complete without a little table, something to set your drinks on. So this cocktail table is perfect. It's just a little round lacquered white top with then a wire kind of geometric base that has some airiness, some negative space going through it. It's just, it's perfect for the flow of the space. I'm so excited. I get to stock the fridge. I have an array of coconut water, some protein drinks, you know, things you might want on hand while you're working out, refreshments. It's the lemon water fridge. Remember lemon water? Remember how much Joey loves lemon water? Here, a cup of coffee. Me too. Hey, I don't drink coffee anymore. What do you drink? Lemon water. Lemon water. It's my thing in this house. I want it to feel really like you're walking into a five-star resort. Just take water and lemon but you gotta cut them just right. I think I'm gonna start selling my own lemon water. Some OMG lemon water. Call it o OM Gemmins. OM, uh, oh my lemons. So to prep our chilled scented eucalyptus towels, I am just saturating some plain white washcloths. And of course I'm dousing this water with a lot of drops of essential oil. I'm just going to saturate the towels and wring them out and then roll them up and put them in our beautiful fridge to chill. Do you want us to keep any um, chicken in the fridge? Okay. On top of the countertop, I'm just gonna style some plants, beautiful vases, crystals. You guys know I have an obsession with crystals. This amethyst is so gorgeous. It's on a stand. It just is such good vibes. I need to have a crystal nearby. On the cocktail table, I'm placing some really awesome coasters. These are like black and white striped marble. I love bringing in a little bit of the graphic element because we do have so much black of the exercise equipment around. I don't wanna ignore that fact. So bringing in little bits of black and white kind of justify those other necessary black elements that we need in the gym. I love to meditate. I really honestly don't do it as much as I would like to, but I feel like it's also because I don't have that perfect place. So this poof is a poof of my dreams because it isn't a floor poof where you're like just supposed to put your feet on it or 
you know, sit around like a lower table. This is like a giant poof. And it's braided jute fabric, so it's really durable. So obviously we can sit on it while we're working out as well. We can move it around. It's really like lightweight. I'm just gonna add some little fuzzy things, some cozy things, and you better see me meditating on there. <laughs> I love the yoga mats, easily accessible too, because we can take them and go out onto the pergola and do some outdoor yoga on a beautiful day. So I got an array of planters. These are all indoor planters, beautiful tones of green and kind of bluey teal and a sort of dark gray. We are going to set this big palm on the stand and that's going to be in the corner. Oh, this gold cactus vase is the cutest thing ever. You guys know I like things that have a little sense of humor once in a while, just a little boop, gold cactus. When you pot plants in a pot that doesn't have a drainage hole, you wanna make sure you put some rocks down at the base because that aerates the soil and creates drainage so that your plant won't get all waterlogged and moldy. Once I fill up the potting soil around these plants, I'm also placing some decorative rocks on top. I just really like that look for indoor plants because you don't have the exposed dirt and it's just like a, it's a more finished look. I love wall hangings because it's an alternative to a framed piece of art or photograph. So this wall hanging, it's great, it's hand woven. It's got our accent color of the dark blue with a little bit of the white, which you see on the walls. And it's just a nice, soft textural moment amongst all of the other like harder workout equipment. It's just bringing in a little softness. What do you think in the color palette back there? All the grays and whites? It's kind of like Roxanne's color palette. We might put mirrors behind the treadmill as well and do a molding piece. Like we might kind of do an L shape of mirrors. But for now, I want to put a framed piece of art on the wall. Just something that has a little text reminder of what the space is supposed to represent for us, which really is relaxation and health. I'm taking this beautiful handmade piece of paper. It is just a deep blue, it has texture on it. And then I'm taking the wall paint that we used, just a pure white wall paint and a brush. I'm just doing a cursive breathe, lowercase cursive. It's a very obvious, just reminder to breathe while you're working out. That's always good. And yeah, one hit wonder, because I don't have another piece of paper. <laughs> it's just gonna be nice to open those doors in the morning and see the breathe sign. <sighs> I love it, I love it against this darker blue color. It's bringing kind of our accent blue color over to that corner of the room. So I might just leave it there. I don't know if we're gonna do mirrors there. For now, it looks great. <sighs> a celebratory workout. The room is done. Show us your moves, Joey. I'm ready to work out. Bleh. Winston, don't be sad. You can come out to the gym. We can work out with you. Oh, oh Joey. You need some lemon water, don't you? Yeah, please. Lemon water. Lemon water. Remember when you said you wanted this? Yeah, yeah, straight out of the pitcher. Uh, uh. Swallow. Thank you, Kate, for bringing me lemon water. What a sweetie with that lemon water. I mean, who doesn't want 
to work out and then have on-demand lemon water. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Can I? No. Okay. That water is so good. Oh my god, I love this room so much. All right, full circle. Ugh. We had lemon water in the kitchen. Now we've got lemon water in the gym. Outside. The last thing we gotta do is the yard. The finishing touch will be the landscaping and the foliage, which we will do. Stay tuned. We really should grow lemon trees. That would make a lot of sense. Lemon trees? Do we need multiple? Do we need a eucalyptus towel fridge? Yeah. <laughs> I may just have to include a water fountain. Hmm. I love it. I really want to hear from you guys. I think that it's just, it's the perfect blend of like peaceful and energizing. And now that we've got the AC, it's climate controlled. So all is good in our hood. Thanks guys, subscribe. By the way, next video, yard. Yard. Yard heard it here first. Yard, yard heard it here first. We've got some foliage. I bought a chainsaw. You did? Mm -hmm. We also have like lighting to do outside. Oh my gosh. So still a lot to do. So uh, we'll see you then. Thanks Bye, for watching. Love you, creative weirdos. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get myself a towel. Yeah. Uh, 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 cool. I don't know.